What's up everybody? Today we're going to be going through how to tune your violin with an app. The app that I'm going to be using today is called Bandmate and uh, this is an app that I like because it'll show you on the staff uh, where your note is that you're playing and so that's helpful when we are trying to make sure that we're tuning our strings to the correct octave um, to the correct note of that particular the correct pitch of that particular note. Um, so when we first open up Bandmate, what you're going to see is it's probably going to have an instrument listed that is not violin. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to click on that instrument at the top and we're going to select violin. And what you should see there is a treble clef is going to pop up and it is going to show us violin at the top. And so what we can see from here is there is our treble clef and our staff and then along the bottom we have this nice little bar and in the very middle of the bar we have a nice big hash mark and then we have smaller hash marks on both the left and right side when we get all the way out to the very end we're also going to see that there are negative 50 and plus 50 and that tells us just how far out of tune we are so when we get to negative 50 on the left side, that means our string is really flat. If we get to plus 50 on the right side, it means that our string is really tight and we're gonna wanna loosen that. Um, and our goal is to make sure that our string note ends up right in the middle on that big line. So where we typically start when we're tuning our violin is we'll start on our A string and we're gonna look at using our pegs first. So the important thing when we're talking about our pegs is knowing the order and where they are. So on the, if your violin is facing you, on the left side, the bottom peg here is for our E string. Our top one over on the left side is our A string. On our right side, the top one is our D string. And then our bottom one on the right side is our G string. So E, A, D, G. It makes a nice little rectangle going around that way. So typically we'll start on our A string and that's the one that I'm going to start by demonstrating on. So right now we can see in the app that my A is just a little flat. It's probably about 25 cents flat. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take our peg and to make sure that the peg is not stuck too tight, we're gonna turn it towards us just a little bit. So that way it turns just a little bit. And now if we play our A again, you're gonna hear that it's really low. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist it away from us ever so slightly because we don't want to go too far and we don't want to break our string. So looking at our tuner, it's still on an A flat. So we're going to tighten it one more time. Now we see that it is a little bit sharp. So I'm going to back my peg up just a little bit more and see where that puts us closer and since it's so close we're close to that uh, two hash marks I'm gonna actually use my fine tuner down here on the brid uh, tailpiece and I'm going to turn it counterclockwise and I'm going to make small adjustments with that until I get it right there in the middle there. There we are. So there our A is in tune nicely. Now going over to our D string, and that's this top peg on our left side. So again, we're going to want to loosen it just a little bit so that way we know our peg isn't too tight to turn it back away from us if my violin was facing towards me like this. And this one's actually pretty much on point. And we can see that our arrow actually turns green when we get it within a really close area for tuning. So from here, I'm gonna go down to my low G string. And again, it's a little bit too low. I am going to loosen our peg just a little bit. 
now I'm going to turn it back away from me. And now I've gone too far, we can see that. I'm almost to the next note up. So we're going to loosen it back again, just a little bit. And we can see it's much closer. And now from here, what I'm doing, since again, we are so close, I'm going to be taking my fine tuner. of the way. Oh, we are so close. There it is. All right, and then we finish up now with our E string. So here we are on our high E. Remember, that's this peg right here. I'm trying to get our app to pick up the E as we go. There it is. And there we are. So, what we've done is we've tightened and loosened our strings so that way they all give us that nice little green slider on the bottom bar and they have stayed right where they're supposed to be on our staff. So one thing to keep in mind is that um, when our notes are pretty far out of tune we want to use our pegs but if they're within the last two hash marks towards the middle then we can probably use our fine tuners. If our fine tuners go too far down towards the tailpiece, then they won't spin. And when they won't spin, what that means is you have to back them out and do a tune, uh, peg tune. So that way we have extra space on our fine tuners. Um, so I try not to use them unless it is pretty close. So that way I don't run out of it and I don't have to peg tune quite as frequently for larger changes. The other thing, what we may find is if our peg is too loose and it won't stay as we're trying to get everything in tune, what we can do, there we go, here's a nice demonstration, and now it's totally gone. So what we want to do is as we're turning our peg away from us, we're actually going to also push in towards the other side of the violin. That's gonna do. If I didn't over tighten, of course. What that's gonna do is it's gonna push our tuning peg a little further in, and it's gonna have a little more friction here inside the peg box, so that way it grips a little more easily. Um, this peg slipping happens a lot more frequently in the winter time when it gets cold and the wood around the pegs kind of shrinks back a little bit so that it opens up a little more. Um, so it's just something to be aware of as you're going through. And then if your peg is too tight and it is too tight to move, what you're gonna to wanna to try and do as carefully as possible is kind of wiggle it out a little bit. And as you're wiggling, you're gonna pull it away, not super far away. There's only so far we can go. But you wanna pull it enough that you have the ability to let it loosen and then from there you're gonna re-tighten it while pushing in hopefully not too far but making sure that it grips but it's not stuck so hopefully this video helps you guys thanks for tuning in to tips tricks and totally helpless music